Hello everyone, and welcome. Today I'm going to be running one of these Klingon events in Star Trek Online. Let's see, we'll do best served cold because it's fairly straightforward. It's mostly just killing a bunch of stuff. And flying in circles around the base. Perhaps not the most spectacular thing in the world to do, but anybody can do it. Unless your ship can't kill stuff. And normally it queues up faster than this. 7.28 p.m. on a Saturday. I would have expected it to start immediately. Something tells me that everybody isn't at the movies right now, you know? At least I assume that, you know, people are still staying home for the most part. I haven't bothered checking. I don't go anywhere. And when you don't go anywhere, you don't care if people are staying home. I guess somebody was AFK when that popped up. This is going to take forever to get into, isn't it? Or at least longer than it should for an active event. Yeah, it's part of this House United thing. A car of house I'm not going to bother listening to... But you know what? Why not? A car of house Mokai has a fleet in orbit over Rua Pinte. That's not how you pronounce that. disabled the satellite control stations in orbit and landed on the surface. They're freeing the prisoners there. We must destroy Akar's fleet, reactivate the stations, and prevent the prisoners from escaping. I really wish that they would take the voice actors that they hire for this game, have them sit down and watch the shows, and learn how to say the stuff properly. They do the same thing with the talks who taught. They, they pronounce it talks who thought. That's not how they pronounced it in the next generation. And they said it a dozen times in that episode. It's not like it's that hard. There's an enemy fleet holding position between us and Rua Penve. They're the bait. There's bound to be another force under cloak in the area, ready to strike. The Mokai figured out how to bypass the defenses of the satellites and disable them. We need to deal with that as well. That's the difference when you get an actual voice actor who was in the shows. Remember, once we... Granted, some of the voice actors who were in the shows get toxic taught long as well. I think Walter Cohen did. Maybe one or other, or one or two others. It's nice. We actually have some DPS on the team. I wish I knew who it was. This is Akar, son of Akam. May you find death. Which direction should I go? Well, nobody's going to Gamma. Oh no! Wait, someone did, did go to Gamma. Those Mokai infiltrators are uploading a we'll give ourselves a second to rebuild power levels. And then we'll strike. Destroy the infiltrator to solve that problem permanently. Now these satellites I'm destroying, I'm only disabling them. So once we get this... Yeah, once they come back online, they'll start shooting at enemies for us. These stupid fake Klingons. I, I refuse to acknowledge that these Discovery Klingons are real Klingons because they don't look, act, or talk like real Klingons. I, I tried watching the first season of Discovery, but it was horrible. This is one of the worst shows I've ever seen. And I've watched at least the first few episodes of Farscape and the first few episodes of uh, Gene, Roddenberry, Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda. And while those were cheesy, we were nowhere near as bad as Discovery. But whoever made Discovery should be ashamed of themselves. 
it's just a case of they should have sat the writers down and made them watch Star Trek before letting them write the show. I'd rather watch Voyager. I mean, I thought Voyager was bad until Discovery. Shoot, I thought Picard was bad until Discovery. I watched the full first season of Picard, and despite the fact that it didn't look, feel, or sound like a Star Trek show in any way, shape, or form, other than the fact that there was Picard and Romulans um, and Borg, it, uh, it was still better than Discovery. And so as, as quite possibly one of the worst TV shows I've ever watched, it kind of bugs me to have so much Discovery-themed garbage in the game. And for those of you who are like, well, wait a minute, wasn't Picard worse than Discovery? Uh, Picard was bad because Picard was just a really generic sci-fi story that they stuck Patrick Stewart in and stuck the guard name on. And through an occasional little Star Trek theme thing and to make it seem like a Star Trek show and to you know, for fan service and such. Like Riker and Data and uh, a few other things. It, literally, if you take the Star Trek-esque elements out of Picard, it could be just any generic B sci-fi movie about AI and, and AI rights. That, that's literally, like, the storyline was so generic it could have been just anything. And that's why it isn't very good. But with Discovery, it's different. They're like shitting, for one, they're shitting all over Star Trek canon. If you care about canon, uh, then that bugs you. If you don't care about canon, then that may not bug you. Um, there are not many characters in the show that personally I found interesting at all. And like, I can't really find uh, Michael Burnham is, is kind of okay, but she's a weird character to center the show around. What's the next phase here? Securing transports. Okay. So we defend all somebody to secure his transports. I think this guy's got this, so I'm going to go get the transports. Mokai infiltrators en route to Gamma. I hope someone else is down here. Good. I don't know exactly where all they spawn. Some of them may be over here, too. Does he have that? It doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going to go back up there. Um, aside from the characters not being very good, a lot of the storylines weren't that good. Um, there was definitely more political motivation in some of them than there should have been. And okay, yeah, Star Trek has always been highly political. But modern day politics have kind of gotten out of hand. And if they had stuck to the classic Star Trek politics that you saw in the original series in The Next Generation, it would have been okay. But they're going, like, way too progressive with it. Two more transports just broke atmosphere. Don't let them escape! And while it's not as bad as it could be, it's not enjoyable. Also, uh, some of the, the leaders they're picking are not very solid uh, characters. I, I don't know if it has anything to do with the actors and actresses they're picking, but the characters are not solid. Um, for instance, the uh, the Asian captain, I, I forget her name, of the Shinzo, or, or whatever the ship is called at the beginning. Uh, she just didn't seem to be a very good captain at all. I didn't have the personality for it or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what exactly it was, but... Every time I saw her, I just kind of growled. I know, I keep trying to go for this, and Five. I keep getting distracted. Five transports just broke orbit. You know what to do. Has this guy got this? I don't know. I'm going to cloak and go down there. I don't know, he's got this. No, he doesn't have this one. 
I can make sure that he doesn't miss it. My ship has a ridiculous sub. Uh, actually, it has several DPS bonuses when it decloaks. So, not let them get away. You'll see me cloak and decloak just you know, at odd times just for the DPS bonus because I don't only get the, what is it, 10%, 15%, you know, for like 10 or 15 seconds when you decloak. I also get a uh, bonus to my critical damage, I think my critical hit chance. Um, while I'm cloaking, enemy ships will kind of lose interest in me, stop firing at me. So I, I get a lot of bonuses for cloaking and decloaking. I think there's a, a third bonus I get for it as well, but I don't remember what it is. So what are we doing now? There are three more transports to stop. nice thing about beam fire at will. I just wish they hadn't nerfed it so badly. Oh no, that's okay. We're still waiting for them to leave. We've secured 4 out of 20. And the number doesn't increment until they actually hit whatever waypoint they're heading for. You also notice that since this is not an advanced queue, it's just a regular one, I often don't bother with cloaking to get my bonuses. I just kill things because things go down fast enough even without bonuses. I'm not, not rocking most of them at the moment. I mean, I don't even think in this PvE I even bother hitting any of this stuff. There's just nothing that needs that much DPS. aren't picking stuff up down here. I will take the lockbox. I usually don't, but some of these Discovery Era lockboxes have decent stuff in them. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. that friendly thing I saw flying over there? Is it a torpedo or something? Yeah, it's funny, I show up and everything dies. Oh great, lock onto something behind us. I only have two weapons in the back. Well, technically there's three, but one of them is that board cutting beam. like we stopped them. The prison is secure, and the rebels have been stopped. Stand by to assist the security forces on Rua Pinte. Stop pronouncing it that way, please. Yeah, one of the problems with this mission is all the times that you have to stop and sit there and wait because hmm. they want to explain Looks stuff like to you. I have something to say. I'm getting a hail from a car patching you in. I think you'll find my virus is more resilient than you imagine. <laughs> it's funny, his lips just stopped moving and didn't continue. Every dilithium hauler in the system just altered course. They're heading for the control stations. Cunning bastard. Turned them into seeking weapons. Very explosive seeking weapons. Destroy them, but stay... Yeah, we're out of time. I have to stay, you know, far enough away that they don't kill me when they explode. I think it's five kilometers. If I'm within that, it damages me. Vader Station has turn. There we go. That's probably one of these Klingons. Okay. Well, you know what? I can't click on it, so never mind. 
I'm just gonna go over here and kill as much stuff as possible. Not the only one who had this idea. Okay, this guy needs some help. Vader Station has dilithium haulers within proximity. Can we please fire. Unfortunately, doing this isn't like a magic pill. It just keeps spawning. Although there is a number of transports. I guess if we destroy a number of them, then this assault ends. We only have 20 remaining. Alpha and beta stations have dilithium haulers in proximity. Okay, yeah, they're warping in. I'll go take care of the ones over here. It's gonna hurt. Alpha and beta stations have dilithium haulers in proximity. Now I'll go back and help the guy at Gamma. I do think it's funny his fleet name is FBI. I've never seen that before. Or at least I'm assuming that's his fleet name. Alpha what did I just see? Lithium haulers within proximity. All ships, withdraw. Guess I didn't need to cloak there. All right. Oh, I'm running this too soon, aren't I? Oh well. I never drive those upgrade kits. They're pointless. They waste way too much dilithium. Well, anyway, that's it for this queue. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a nice day.